Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest today. And today we're gonna to be talking about Keith Gale, Roaring Kitty, and all the stuff that's been going on right now. He's gonna be in litigation, federal court for his role in GameStop. So is it over for Wall Street bets? Guys, can you imagine if this actually goes through and he actually is fined or whatever, prosecuted for what he did with GameStop or what they think he did with GameStop? This can have crazy implications for Wall Street bets because Wall Street bets basically like a promotion site for a lot of stocks. And when you see stocks go on Wall Street's bets or there's a lot of talk about a stock, that stock is probably going to be going up. And this is what the SEC is trying to stop. All these companies that are being promoted and skying up because of the promotion. So the SEC is doing a deep review in the actions with um, Roaring Kitty with a lot of these sites and this can have crazy implications on the market. I'm not sure how they're going to stop it because Wall Street Bets is a, a group of nine, six million people, right? So it's hard to just stop a group, but they are doing investigations and they're trying to find out how they can stop this. So if everything goes how they are actually trying to go because they're investigating what Robin Hood did their role into this whole market and they're investigating Roaring Kitty, his role in this whole market manipulation they're talking about. And this can just have serious effects on the market in the future. So we got to get into this video, see if they have anything to stand on when it comes to this case, because this case is actually on paper. I have the documents of saying what they're suing um, Keith for and seeing if this actually has any kind of like real ground to stand on because we do not want this to happen in the markets. First, I just want to get into what the SEC is doing. The Securities Exchange Commission. I've seen like a couple weeks, like the past two weeks, there's been articles of actually the SEC stopping uh, transactions, um, stopping companies that are just having these huge runs because of promotion. So I'm going to be showing you this uh, little like link, not even a link, this little article saying how they suspending transactions in companies that actually just never had anything going on. It actually stopped like trading, but the stock like <laughs> went up because uh, people were promoting it. So the SEC is actually now like their eyes are very open to all this promotional activity going on in the market right now. So it's going to be interesting what they do and that they like kind of release a force out there to stop promotions because they're suspending stocks that they feel like they're being promoted. And the SEC actually has the, the authority to do that. They suspend stocks for 10 days, depending on what they see. They can stop a stock if they feel like that stock has done any kind of financial, um, like the integrity of the financials is off or um, they feel like they're just promoting, like there's insiders promoting the stock or something's happening with the CEO doing stuff manipulative to the stock or to the company, but they can suspend the stock for any type of reasons, right? So they're doing this more actively now. So this just shows you how much power they have and what they're looking out for now. Their, their antennas are raised. This is going to like the government and the SEC is probably going to release their own kind of task force for this into the future. So we got to kind of look at what's happening and what's going on in the market right now, because this could influence uh, decisions later on. So basically there's a class action complaint lawsuit against Keith Gill, AKA Roaring Kitty, AKA D F and value. So I want to know what your opinions on, on this guys. And uh, tell me what you think, because I just want to know if this can go through and if this is going to be legit because again, this can have deep consequences moving forward, uh, looking at companies or looking at, um, any like Reddit posts or anything that's promotional. So they're accusing him of actually being a promotional vehicle for this stock surge for GameStop. And if you didn't know, Roaring Kitty actually has a lot of licenses. He has a lot of licenses, so he's not just some random investor. And they're saying in this document that he was portraying himself as some kind of random investor with no experience, but he had 10 years of experience experience with Mass Mutual as like some financial director or something like that. So he has some kind of clout or he knowledge about the securities exchange market. And 
they are saying in this lawsuit that Mass Mutual is supposed to monitor um, Keith Gill and his actions in the market. And when you have these security licenses, like he has a commodity license, he has a chartered, uh, chartered financial analysis kind of license, and he just has a bunch of security stuff. And when you have these licenses, you kind of have to follow rules. But even though I feel like he wasn't even in, he wasn't, I know he was with Mass Mutual for some time, but I think when this surge happened, he wasn't with the company Mass Mutual anymore. So it's going to be interesting how they see that because even though his videos go back, from GameStop uh, and how it shows that he was with GameStop and he was kind of promoting it and he's kind of giving his thesis about the company, they still feel like he was under mass mutual and there was it was their responsibility to see what he was doing in the market, his transactions and what was happening. And they say that he's basically the vehicle of why GameStop soared to $430 and he made $48 million um, betting against GameStop. And that's so that's what you're that's what they're claiming. They're claiming that he was all promotion. He knew that he had these options. He knew that he was trading GameStop. He knew he needed to make this company short squeeze slash gamma squeeze. And they're just saying it was all Roaring Kitty. He was promoting this on Twitter, on Wall Street Bets, on YouTube, everything like that. So I want to know what you guys think. Do they have any grounds for this? Do you see this actually going through? Uh, this process because I feel like anyone that's investing or anyone that's actually like have a thesis of a company you're allowed to put that work out there but I guess under what they're saying that he is commissioned he has these licenses so he can't promote it like that he can't have this kind of say in the market or that promotion aspect of it because they felt like he was promoting this on everything like on Twitter on YouTube, like he was going hard promoting the stock and saying that there's a short squeeze and then he actually had like a cult following of people believing his um, his ways. So I want to know if you want to go through this like litigation or all this, this claims, this complaint, go through it, see what they're saying. But it's going to be very interesting what happens with this. I hope he doesn't get convicted of any of this because it's unfair. And this is going to be keep going on. Like people on YouTube, people on Wall Street Bets are always going to put their ideas out. It's up to the people to decide if this is a good company to invest in, if they see it as like a good potential company to buy. So it should not be on the person that's kind of promoting it as they say. It should be on the individuals actually looking into the stock and looking at everything. And the second thing, they want to protect people that are blind witnesses that don't know anything about this company to um, uh, stopping them from investing it and losing money. That's the whole reason they're talking about this because they don't want people like some young kids or whatever they how they feel about it to lose money in these companies for just blindly following this um professional roaring kitty or professionals in the market promoting stocks but i don't think that's the case i think people have their own mind people are smarter than you think in these markets the retail people are taking over they understand companies they understand what they're doing and i feel like this is kind of gonna like undercut that whole process of us getting better at investing knowing what what to do and learning the nuances of investing so guys tell me what you think about this video do they have a case? Is Roaring Kitty in trouble? He won, he got $48 million from this bet, so he has a lot on the line. If this actually complaint goes through, if the prosecutors actually take him down, this can lead to other places being taken down because this is all about promotional aspects of stocks. So promotional sites can be Wall Street bets, can be individual people. So this can go down like a little rabbit hole, which I don't think is going to be good for the markets. So tell me what you guys think. If you like this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll get back to you in the next video. Peace.